Today is Thursday, July 6, 2023. I received this word at 5.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Lord wants me to title this particular word, You Cannot Serve Two Masters. Uh, before I begin, again, um, don't take my word for it. I encourage you all um, to take this back to the Lord in prayer, um, to meditate on his word, to ask him to confirm or deny what you heard today. Um, as far as who this is for, I believe if you hear it and you receive conviction in your heart, that that means that this word is for you. Here is what the Lord said. What is this I see? So many people professing to love me and shrugging off my commands, drinking the cup of demons and expecting to sit at my table. I am coming back for a sinless, spotless bride, not one wallowing in filth and perversion. Shall I look the other way because of grace? Or did you not know the wages of sin is death? And if you die in your sin, openly defying my instructions, you will be judged according to your rebellion. I said you must be born again, transformed by the renewing of your mind, a new creature, cleansed of all unrighteousness. I told you to come out from among them, not join them in their idolatry. I said, touch not their filthy things, and I would receive you. I said, be holy as I am holy to deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me, but you'd rather follow your own desires. Your allegiance is to yourself and not to me. You say, I know your heart, and that is true. Out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. Many of your words reveal who you belong to. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You are bitter, angry, full of hate and venom. Where is the fruit if you belong to me? Those are not the fruits of my spirit at all. You cannot serve two masters. You will love one and hate the other. You cannot drink from my cup in the cup of devils. I said to flee from sexual immorality. There are seven things I hate, and one of them are feet that swiftly run to evil. If you love me, you will obey my commands. Where is my honor? If you love me so much, many of you fear man more than you fear the one who has the ability to cast body and soul into hell. You believe in me, you do good. Even the demons believe and tremble at my name. I am the Lord and there is no other. Where is there a God like me? I know not one. But there is no fear of me before your eyes. To fear me is to hate evil. To fear me is the beginning of wisdom. Where is my reverence? Have I not been faithful, gracious, long-suffering? It is better for you to have not known me at all than to taste of my goodness and witness my delivering power, only to go back like a dog to its vomit. I am not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that he shall reap. Those who sow destruction will reap the same. I am a righteous judge who punishes sin wherever it is found. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. My chastisement is out of love, and though my grace abounds, one should not abuse it. Freely you have received, and freely you should give. This includes mercy. So why are you harboring so much offense? If my mercy is new every morning, why do many of you go to bed angry, giving the devil a mighty foothold? When I said, bless your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, not respond to reviling with reviling. You are commanded to love your neighbor as yourself. So why are you gossiping and slandering them instead? Did I not say you would be held accountable? You will be held accountable for every idle word you speak. The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. It cannot be tamed. But with me, all things are possible.